hello and welcome back friends in this video i will show you what is shonar cube uh, why it is useful for your project and how you can install sonar cube through docker so first what is sonar cube sonar cube is an open source platform uh, that helps you deliver high quality code by continuously inspecting code quality and security so let's go to sonar cubes website this is the official website of the sonar cube as you can see this is an open source and through running this sonar cube we can generate security analysis report for your website or for your code and then you can fix those hotspot or security breaches to make your project more secure our end goal would be we want to run sonar cube on localhost i have already run sonar scanner i will show i will tell you what is sonar scanner but i have already generated the report and as you can see uh, this is one of my project past project where we can see two security issues 124 hotspots and there are few several other things that need to be fixed if we want to make this project more secure now how to install this project so for that you should go to my github uh, github repository i have generated one github repository for sonar cube and in that you will find docker compose.yml file i have already created this file for you you just need to run docker compose up hyphen d hyphen hyphen build that will download the uh, sonar cube and sonar cube database uh, containers and then it will also run those containers in background if you have docker desktop you can just reconfirm it by going to the docker desktop and under sonar cube you will see sonar cube data database and sonar cube both are running uh, on port number 5432 and in my case 9001 because i already have something running on 9000 port if you want to you can just change this number uh, to run it on the different ports if you like for me i have changed it to 9001 now once we have run that you would go to now let's open localhost 9001 and you will be redirected to login screen by default your password would be username would be admin and admin but i have already changed my password uh, you will ask to do that as well first time when you logged in through admin admin username and password you will be redirected to this link i don't know if it is working yes it is working for me so you you would be redirected to this link where you need to add password as admin because your password would be admin for the first time and then you have to change your password as you like uh, after that you may log in again with uh, updated credentials now if you don't have any project you will be shown add project button here but i have already created one so i can just click on create project and add a name
we can use global settings if you want to you can just change those from you can define your specific settings here click on create project now you have some different options but i am using locally for this pro uh, for this demonstration because i have project in my local now you have to generate the project token you can select the duration as you like i think one year would be sufficient and then or maybe just for demo i am just using 30 days but you can select as you want and then click on generate that will generate the token you should save this token somewhere safe because next time when you run the command you have to you have to use this token now click on continue that will take you to the second step i have a project in php so i will click on other in this as per your os you can select so mine is macOS and here is the command that you have to select now you if you are running this for the first time you will not have sonar scanner in your system so for me it is showing but for you it will not so for mac users can use view search sonar scanner or maybe brew install and that will install the sonar scanner for you uh, i already have installed it so I don't need to but you can install this dependency like this for the Mac users for Linux and Windows you can go to this URL and you can download scanner as per your operating system and architecture so once you have installed sonar scanner you should go to the root folder of the project for which you want to generate the uh, report i already have generated you just need to copy that command provided here just copy the whole command or maybe click on copy and then you can click here and enter that will generate the report for you now i already have generated the report so let me just show you how does it look like or maybe because i have run this command again i need to wait for a while let's wait
so it took about two minutes to complete process uh, we'll go back to the project or maybe refresh the project let's go to the projects now you can see here the security and reliability issues you can click on that so the quality gate is passed so it is a good thing but you still have uh, many things to fix that is as shown here and if you click on any of those you can just see how where exactly it is pointing to and you can fix those issues and rerun the uh, rerun the command to regenerate the report and that will show you the updated uh, reports as well so this is how you can install sonar cube and run sonar scanner to generate the reports and see the vulnerabilities using sonar cube in your local machine i hope you like this video and you have learned something new let me know if you have any issues i am happy to solve those uh, in command section also i will be pushing the code in my git repository so soon you will see the docker configuration so that you don't need to waste time and you can just install sonar cube up by uh, checking out these repositories thank you thank you for watching this video see you in the next one bye